Hey, sugar, it's your girl, Risa Ray, y'all. What's good? Coming to you guys. Hold on, y'all. I got to get it right. Coming to you with a tag. It is called the Crazy Food Tag by Slim Shell, okay? I saw her do this video, and I have not been on with the tag in a while. So, I'm sitting here killing time. I just really got off of Periscope listening to DJ A Drop, y'all. He was mixing y'all for about two hours. Do y'all know I was on 10 plus 10? And then some. Mm-hmm. Good music, y'all. Uh, so, yeah. I thought I would come do this since I'm still a little jazzed up. And here we go. Uh, new subscribers, I say welcome. My old subscribers, my old family members, my old boo babies. Y'all know I love you. I seen y'all hugs and kisses. Yes, I do. Put it down below if you're a new subscriber and let your girl know who you are. Please do that for me. Are y'all ready? All right, here we go. So, I'm looking this way because this is where my questions are, okay? Um, it is, whoo, 30 questions. All right, Risa, don't be long-winded. Okay, it says, what food could you eat every day? What could I eat every day? Um, whew, it would have to be banana pudding. That's a dessert, but... I could eat banana pudding or either crabs. Okay, if I had to put it in a category, I would have to say seafood. Shrimp and crabs, I could eat every day, okay? But if I had to put it in just one, I would have to say banana pudding. I know that's confusing, y'all, but, you know, that's me, okay? What's your favorite restaurant? Red Lobster. Hands down, 85. <laughs> it's Red Lobster, okay? Number three, what city has the best food you've ever had? I've, I haven't tasted a lot of food from different cities, but um, I'm going to have to say in my kitchen. Because <laughs> I don't go out to a lot of restaurants, but I do go to a few that I like. And, you know, I enjoy them, but I'm going to say in my kitchen, Okay. Um, what do you get on your sub? That's number four. Um, depends on what sub I get. If I get the meatball sub, it'll be meatballs with marinara sauce and provolone cheese. And, um, yeah. And then if I get the cold cut trio, it'll be cold cuts, lettuce, tomato, oil and vinegar, honey mustard, and banana peppers. If I get the Philly cheese steak... Um, it is the Philly cheesesteak, American cheese, and provolone cheese, and mozzarella, okay? So, that's what I get. It depends which one I get. Um, what do you get on your pizza? That is number five. I get ground beef. I love the ground beef, or what else do they call it? Um, sausage. I, I will eat pepperoni, but it's not my favorite because it's so greasy. But the ground beef, and then I can also get one with bell pepper, onion, a little mushrooms, a little olives, a little olives, and meat, like ground beef and ham and who child, the all meat is kind of, kind of like a meat lovers with everything on it, mm-hmm, yes, so I like that. Number six, is there a food you've always wanted to try? Um... I've always wanted to try um what is it called? Paella. I've always wanted to try that. Yes. Um number 7, tell me about your worst restaurant experience. My worst restaurant experience um hmm We went to a Red Lobster out of town. And was it Red Lobster? I believe it was Red Lobster. No, Applebee's. We went to Applebee's. And it was myself and some more people. And we all placed our orders, okay? They brought my food, but didn't bring anybody else's. And we were there for like two hours. And they kept saying, oh, it's coming, oh, it's coming, oh, it's coming. That was my worst experience because I've, I'm like, are you serious? I mean, Really? I'm sitting there, and I'm I'm like, okay, well, y'all, yeah, that was my worst experience. Um, 
Yeah, that would have to be it. Uh, let's see, number eight. Who's a better cook, you, your mom, or my dad? Um, I would have to say my grandmother because they are the one, she's the one that raised me, so I didn't live with my mom or dad. So I would have to say my grandmother or my mother because she adopted me, and then she became my mother, so my mom. Okay, there we go. Um, who is one, what is one food you just fail at making? Rice. I can make it sometimes. I mean, I can make it, but I, sometimes I burn it. I don't know. My stove, I don't know. Just, I say rice. Um, number 10. Name your least favorite food. Least favorite food would be... Mm, I don't I don't want no beets you know just uh, ugh, just the smell of them and pickled beets child what you say mm -mm. that will be one right off the dome it's a lot of them that I don't eat but that one right there mm -hmm. number 11 raw or cooked vegetables cooked i can do raw but i can spice up some cooked vegetables with my own seasonings mm -hmm. yes i can number 12 how do you like your steak well done well done kind of like in between medium well and well i don't want it pink and i don't want it rock hard so it's kind of like in between that if there's such a thing but that's the way I like it. 13. Do you enjoy cooking or baking? Cooking. Mm. Excuse me, y'all. I know that's rude. Excuse me, y'all. But it hits me every now and then. See, baking is more precise. Cooking, I can pretty much take away and add what I want. You know, I can be more creative with cooking. 14. What's your favorite fast food place? Favorite fast food place. Favorite fast food place would have to be McDonald's. Would have to be McDonald's. 15. Name a food place you wish was closer to you. Cheddar's. Oh. Cheddar's. Cheddars, 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 if you're listening, please come to Jacksonville. I don't want to have to drive to Valdosta, Georgia just to have a little meal, which is an hour and a half away. But if I get desperate, I truly will. So please come a little closer, even if it's to St. Augustine, Florida, which is really 45 minutes. So if anybody's watching that works at Cheddars, please pass the word for me, please. I beg you. <laughs> uh, let's see oh it say what's your favorite fast food place and then it says and can you name five items off the menu that's I, I missed that when I got a back up so McDonald's the McDouble the fries the apple pie the uh, hot fudge sundae and the um the big fish not the big fish it's the um, McChicken. There you go. Mm -hmm. Number 16. Ultimate favorite dessert. O-M-G. Homemade banana pudding. Ooh. Homemade banana pudding. Anybody feel my pain out there? To y'all, please. Oof. Um, 17. What food do you gravitate more towards at a party? Or get together well here where I live we always seem to have crabs at a party I don't care if it's a little child's birthday party we'll have some crabs okay but if it's not crabs I will gravitate towards like me I gravitate towards hot dogs or grilled sausage with my my homemade coleslaw 
I will gravitate towards that. And my homemade punch, ooh. A moment of silence for that punch. Oh, yes. Yes, y'all. I love it. All right. Number 18. Favorite food to eat at Christmas. Favorite food to eat at Christmas. Dressing and potato salad. Mm hmm. Dressing and potato salad. Mm hmm. Yes, those two together, that's all I need. Now, if I had to have a dessert, it would be my coconut cake at Christmas. Full layer coconut cake. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number 19, what's the first food that comes to mind? Neck bones. Neck bones. Neck bones. Yes, neck bones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Number 20, do you have any weird food habits? No, I don't think so. I know uh, when I was, well, it didn't ask, did you eat any weird things back in the day? Do you have any weird food habits? Um, I guess anytime I eat seafood, I have to eat ice cream afterwards. I guess that's weird. I don't care. I mean, if I eat crabs, blue crabs, I don't care whether they garlic, whether they regular boiled. If I eat them, I have to have me some ice cream afterwards. Why? I don't know. I don't mean like an hour later. I mean, after I'm through with them crabs, give me 10 minutes, I gotta have me some ice cream. I guess that's my weird food habit. Number 21, what holiday is your favorite for food? Um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, because I can cook whatever I want to cook, how much I want to cook, and I can invite people over and just watch everybody just eat till their pants pop open. That's my favorite. We sit back and listen to music. We laugh. We play cards. We dance. Yes. Thanksgiving, we're going to give God thanks. We're going to break bread and we're going to share. When people come to my house, I don't want you to bring nothing but your pants with the elastic in the waist. Yeah. Unless you just decide to bring something and don't tell me. But that's just, yeah, that is that is it for me. Number 22, what's one food you will never try? Octopus. Child. Octopus, squid. Mm-mm. 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 Whew. I need some water just thinking about that right there. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Heck no. Okay? No. To the no, no, no. Mm-mm. 23. Do you know your best friend's favorite food? Yes, it's seafood. My husband, seafood. Yes, I do. 24, what's the best thing your mom makes? Um, she had a catfish stew, y'all, that she would make. That was the bomb.com. She would saute that catfish in some onions and then smother that bad boy in some gravy. I mean, the whole catfish. I'm not talking about catfish fillets. The whole catfish, okay? Tail, fins, not the head, and all. And you peel that skin back because the skin be, you know, it, it, when she fry it, it be kind of crispy, but then when she put it in that gravy, it just does something. I don't eat the skin, but baby, when you peel that skin back and you see that flaky fish, mm, mm, mm. and that's the one recipe I never learned how to make from her, but I'm going to try it one day. I bet you I get it. Mm -hmm. uh, 25, what's your favorite style of eggs? Scrambled, boiled, poached. 
over easy or sunny side up scrambled 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 if it's not scrambled it's boiled everything else you can have i don't want it i don't want that and my eggs if they scrambled they have to be beaten to the point where i cannot see any egg white i can't stand to see the egg white even once you fry it i cannot stand to see the egg white i can't 26 name your favorite restaurant that closed down uh it was a restaurant by my job called Tugs. Every day at work, we would order from them for lunch, from lunch, for lunch, and they would deliver it. They had the best honey barbecue chicken wings and French fries, and they would give you a little cup of coleslaw or potato salad with some toasted bread with that garlic butter on it, and a a lime a pink lemon limeade. Okay, pink lemonade limeade. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh. If I had to name another one, it would be what well, they're not closed, but Tugs it was the name of it. 27. Do you like bread toasted light or dark? In between. Hey beans. Why you not sleep? I woke up. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Uh do you like your bread toasted light or dark? In between. I don't want it light where it just looked like it just came out the bread pack. I don't want it dark where it looked like I can be eating charcoal. I just want it in between. Okay. 28. Do you like spicy foods? Uh-huh. Not hot to where the top of your head peel off. But I do like a little spice. I about killed Cynthia and her sister when they came here. Wasn't thinking. I'm just cooking for my household, y'all. Didn't think that they would, that their food was gonna be too spicy for him. Polo Braylon, he couldn't eat nothing on his on his plate. I had to feed the baby grapes, <laughs> cause I put a little spice in pretty much everything that I have. I do my greens, my gravy. I don't drown it, but my husband is used to spice, so I learned how to cook his food that way. So, yeah. Do 29, do you like seafood? Uh, heck yeah. Seafood. Stuff I see. <laughs> the food I see, I like. Do I like seafood? Whatever I see, I like, okay? No, but seafood, I do love seafood, okay? Last but not least, first food that comes to mind that is green. Grapes grapes i've been on those green grapes from aldi's and costco they have been the, they so juice and they big like a quarter they are and they just when you bite on them they're just so sweet and that coolness of that grape and they, they they're not soggy and they some of them have a little seed in it but that's all right but the green grapes i don't want the red the green grapes Whew. Mm, mm, mm. yes so you guys that is it it took me almost 20 minutes the name of the tag is called crazy food tag okay i tag everybody to do this tag i want my girl it's christy love i want my girl Tarnika davis 334 bama girl uh cc brown miss tweety miss sal um and anybody else that want to do it, I tag you guys to do it. And please let me know down below when you do this tag. Thank you, Slim Shell. Y'all, she come up with some of the most awesome tags. Now, I don't know if this one is solely hers. But if you want to find out about a tag, you go to Slim Shell's page, okay? And she got one for you. Yes, ma'am, Pam. Yes, she do. I love y'all. Bye, sugar. Well, it's not going to cut off, huh? <laughs> Bloopers and blunders.